guys, Frisbee here. Um, in my last video, I did a lot of trains and asked if you wanted me to keep doing that. And I got an overwhelming response saying, yeah, yeah, keep with the trains. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just show you some of the other projects I had been working on. Uh, and then after this video, we'll get back into the serious train business. Okay, so as you can see here, I started looking at um, bipedal walkers, not just bipedal walkers. Um, quads and spidery ones as well. Um, this fella here just slides about the ground but the actual legs make really quite a genuine movement but what is missing is that hip lift you know, or the kickoff where you can uh, stand up, gain height, push forward. So I so thought how can I do that? Maybe if I put a rotating hip uh, axle type thing into it. So I put two of them up on a stand and you can see it looks as if they're sort of lifting up just right. But I got the sequencing a bit wrong on it because when I put them down on the ground, I didn't get the expected results. So it was a bit of an odd one, but I, I made, I'm, I've got some knowledge out of it, so I've figured some stuff out, so you know, it looks weird, eh? There we go. Drop this down and it just sort of, um, hmm. For a second I thought I cracked it, it looked as if it was going to go, but nah. I think it's going too deep in the bend as well. However, we got, we did got some cool stuff going, um, as you will see now. This guy is a bipedal now. He doesn't walk, because what I was trying to do was achieve a robot that would shift its own weight over to its other leg before it starts walking, because that's what's missing. Yeah, and so this guy cracked it. This took me a couple of hours. He can lean himself from side to side, lift his leg up, put it back down, then lean back over the other side. And I think personally that is a, that's um, one of the things that's needed to make a good walker is for it to be able to shift its weight like we do when we're walking ourselves. So he uses his back heel plus he twists his ankle over. And uh, yeah, I was quite pleased with that. Um, I've had a couple of goes at trying to make it move forward now and obviously it's a lot more difficult. But uh, I'm quite pleased with those results so far. I'm going to put it aside for a wee bit because Oh, I'm trying to figure out there's all those controllers. This was a big spider that I built at the same time as a little blue one and it, it died because the game crashed and then we got a patch and it came back to life again. But as you can see it's very slow and languid and it doesn't really move very much but it was a lot of fun to build just to see if I could do it, you know? And it, it needs a ton of those thrusters to hold it up because it's so heavy in the middle of it, the, the bearings just can't cope with it over that kind of distance. But um, a lot of fun though. Yeah, I quite like if you're um, if you're afraid of heights and have scared of spiders, this is probably not a good <laughs> good video for you. But there you go. Uh, yeah there's a lot of work to do because the, the legs move much slower. It doesn't scale up from the small pipes the same as you would expect. The legs move much slower when the bearings kick in and they've got a lot of their own momentum so there's a lot of wash when they sort of flick back and forward. But um, again, that's another one for the future. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that. That was good fun. It does. It's a big heavy beast though. So we'll get back to that. That's good though, huh? Like I said, this is the, on the next video. We'll be going for trains, and we'll be going for like sort of bullet type faster trains, and stuff with pullmans and stuff with suspension and all that. So we're going to be real train focused for a while. I just wanted to get this guy out because I use this guy a lot just to mess around with because it's such a lot of fun. The idea was what I wanted to try and do was build a vehicle that would max out the engines. And this one does. Um, it's got two engines on it feeding 10 wheels. You know, it does donuts and everything. And both, both the gas engines are turned up full. So it is an absolute monster of a machine. It drifts all over the place. And it's, the speciality is it's got these four correcting fingers or self writing bars. One at either side, they come out sideways, and sometimes they'll just stop you from going over at all because if you lean over, it just goes out and gives the ground a little push and it helps you to stay upright. So, it's a good bit of development there for that as well. See, there it goes. It just gives you a little nudge back in again. But if you do go over, it sorts you out. It's, uh, it's, it's got four wheels turning at the front and then six wheels driven at the back as well. So it's, a, it's got a lot of power and it drifts about all over the place. 
Now there's a big pit over here, have you been to it? It's a big deep pit, so I thought I'll take it in there and sort of treat it like a sort of half pipe type thing, see if I can pull off a few skateboard moves. <laughs> At first it was kind of hard, but I managed it a little bit in the end, but um, it's a good test for the machine. Because it's a big deep pit, I just chucked it in there, so it's right, it sees itself, right, the mechanism can sort that out. Big pit, isn't it? I had to mark it with my own uh, mask there because I keep losing the thing. But it's over on the west side of the uh, of the map, and it's good for the things like this, you know, for chucking them up. Yes, this is great fun to play with. I love this machine. It's great. That's the freight mechanism works really well, I think. Right? And two out to the side and two out to the top. Two out to the top are a slightly different length, so it doesn't just flick parallel to then it flicks off to the one side. So we're going to start getting our, uh, our half pipe techniques here. I'm just trying to turn it all the time, trying to get it up to the top, land it, or get it up to the top, spin it, and come back down. It's totally, totally doable because it's got shit loads of torque. This thing's really, really torqued up. Look at that. Nice vehicle. Those flower pots is kind of great. Um, so a couple of people have told me it's because they don't have the same physical properties as wheels, um, and so they do tend to slide about the place. So, which is uh, to their advantage if you're looking for a bit of action, you know, if you want to try and get things moving about. You feel like climb up those, those kind of walls at that kind of angle for a standing start as well. You know, that's a lot. You go, it lands on its arse there and it'll just correct itself. Good machine, so I'll build another one based on that maybe later on, but after I've finished building trains, which is what's going to be the focus now for the next couple of weeks. But the other thing was to get this out into the open and then floor it so that it was just picking up to absolute max speed. I got it a couple of times without tipping over, I was able to go nearly the whole way inside the map. So, um, yeah, I think this is one of the attempts here, just after we finish beating up this fence. Got a lot of torque, isn't it? I don't know. Well, I imagine driving that in real life. That would be awesome. Yeah, here we go. We can just get the full speed right up. Yeah, we're eating the map up now. We're really tearing across it. Okay, folks, that's it. And uh, next one will be trains. Catch you later. Thanks very much. Bye.